not, and certainly she would have thought that her 200 meter performance would be stronger. So this is a disappointment. And it will be Hungary and Poland who advance into the semifinal. Then it's determined, determined on time. You see Hungary and Poland, look how close it is for third. It will be the time of Portugal, I believe, that will determine who will wrap up the final eight racing for gold. Emily's going to need some help on the times just to get actually to the B final. She's sitting in the bubble for the B final right now. Shooting through was Natasha Dushevianik of Hungary, and she will be a favorite for gold tomorrow. These four events will be decided tomorrow. You see at the back of the screen, Emily Fournell, she was seventh in her semifinal. Well, let's put this in perspective. Our women's program, we've known that it isn't what it once was. It's, quite frankly, not good enough right now to compete at the world level. It's why we don't have a women's K4 here, nor a women's K2. Emily was a late qualifier for the Olympic Games, and I mean, she acquitted herself well, she did the best she can, but I think it's representative of if our country's, the state of our country, of Canada's program right now, if Canada's best athlete is struggling to make the B final in 200 meters, then we've got some work to do in this women's kayak discipline. Well, 41.562 is faster than Kitamoto.